everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is like Kate here. In today's video, we're going to be doing a Blender tutorial or advanced Blender tutorial part one. I did do a beginner, so if you guys are more of a beginner, then you should go check that one out as that's more for you than this one is. This is for more like of the advanced people, but just need a little bit of help or somewhat around that kind of stuff. I'll be going more in depth in this kind of advanced tutorial as this is more for the advanced people and so on. But yeah, if you guys want to know how to put the image in, I am not going to be sharing that in this kind of blended tutorial because it's in the beginner one and most advanced people should know how to add an image and all the starter stuff to get started. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Make sure to subscribe and also like this video and go in the description below to join my discord, my Roblox group and all the kind of uh, medias that I have is very appreciated and we are close to 11,000 subscribers so thank you all if not we might hit it before I post this but I'm not exactly sure but with that said let's get right into it so first is kind of a setup a little bit I'm gonna explain I do have subdivision on I always use that because it makes the models look a lot better now people do say that it kind of makes your triangles go up but you can always avoid that by removing some of them which I'll be showing you guys in today's video I also want to put on cavity which is you can go up in this little bar hit it and it's gonna have cavity and put these up it basically shows the edges and stuff of this so it can help me a tiny bit when I am modeling to see what I'm doing now there's another thing you can do which is the colors before anything else this is also um, something you want might want to do it depends but it's not necessary basically you do that then you add and like so you select the creatures colors make sure roughness is at 100 and this is zero and then you want to hit save after you do that to make another material and then you do the next color save then oh so on so that way when you have a color that you need it will be all right here in this little bar no matter what kind of part you use as long as you use the main part to do this type of stuff you also want to make sure that use nods are not on so when you're in this type of thing you can see the colors kind of um so then you won't have to worry about going here to see Colors. So we're going to go ahead and start with the body, I mean the face. I normally start with the face all the time just because it helps me a lot when I am doing the face um, to shape the body. Now it could be different where the body helps shape the face for some people, but for me I think it helps more with the, the face going first. Uh, basically you want to get this kind of basic shape. Now this guy does not have a mouth which is easy uh, and not too hard to deal with and uh, of course the shape is going to look a little wonky. But just ignore that because you can obviously shape it to your needs. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So here's the basic shape. I used S and then Y to kind of scale it on the Y axis to shape it all like this. That's pretty simple. I didn't really do much of a explaining on that since this is not for like the beginners. And most advanced people probably know that. Um, but you just want to make sure to also shape it again. Because once you do shape the uh, with the Y axis, it could mess up a little bit of the shaping with the head. So you just want to do that. And now we have kind of a perfect shape here. It does look a little bit rough right here, but I can always fix that. Uh, but other than that, I think it looks pretty good. You also do, if you're going to do the style that I'm doing, you want to hit mark sharp. So you want to get these two sides, which you use alt and then shift to select both sides. And you want to hit mark sharp. That way it's a little bit more sharper on these sides. You also do want to make sure to mirror, which I'm pretty sure most of you know. You just hit this, delete the sides, go here, hit mirror. Oh, that's not mirror, that is mask, but you want to hit mirror. And then you want to hit the Y axis and clipping. Then boom, you got the mirror of the side um, and then you're ready to go for the next thing. So the next thing you want to do is the details for it. What you want to do is hit apply to the subdivision and you'll probably see a ton of these triangles, which don't freak out. You can obviously remove them. And what I normally do with my style that I use is I go to this part right here. I hit z dissolve edges. Now it's going to make a little bit, actually it did not make a little bit of a weird edge. It kind of normally does, but it doesn't here. And if you really want to make it really blocky, you can also remove this. But I'm going to keep that one because it helps the shape, makes it look more shapey. And uh, it could use a little bit more shaping. Um, and you also do want to remove these excess ones. So for example, the ones you don't need. But I don't think, I think all of these you might need. And you can also open the statics, statistics, yeah, I think it's what it's called, to see the triangles, faces, vid edges, vertices, and objects. Uh, right now it's at 56, so it's actually not bad. I don't really need to remove any of them. But you, if you do have any unnecessary kind of triangles, I would suggest dissolving some of them edges. And when you're doing that, make sure you're on number two, which is this one right here, the edge select, and not this one. Because it's, uh... It, 
it basically just dissolves them like that and with this one it kind of does that yeah so you want to make sure you're on number two now for the nose here because we do have a nose i kind of struggled a lot with these but i just basically put that out and then i trace over the black lines that we have uh you can also do this which uh you can see the colors a lot better i think i also have this way too dark i'm not exactly sure but i'll fix that later uh but you want to hit alt z which will show this kind of part if you don't have that and just trace over these little lines now your creature may not have a nose like this which is totally okay um you can make the nose however you want and most of the time you just have to carve in a little uh slot and then kind of extrude it but here we're making the nose since it's kind of more like a nose for an animal now i want to use spotify to kind of make it pop out so i will separate it but i will show you guys that you don't need to separate things to make the colors it will be a lot easier for you and i'll show you guys how to split and everything with that kind of stuff later on but basically you want to um separate that then you want to go here and kind of minus that add another one use nuts because i don't think we have a black color so we're going to use that and boom he has that now we want to make sure that we have spotify which kind of gives it a little of a bump you can see i think it looks really good with that and it also keeps the sharp kind of look as well so you don't have to worry about anything else i wouldn't suggest adding a little block right here to add the nose just trace it out like that it will look a lot better now next is the eyeball which is actually an easy part and uh since we don't have a jaw i don't really have a way to show you guys how to make the inside or like the teeth or anything but if you guys do want that i could make another tutorial basically showing that so you want to make basically trace the outline you want to hit mic sharp you want to go in here and do faces which is number three if you hit that then you will be able to have the number three selected now it does look a tiny bit weird because it's on the line so i'm actually going to move the eye up but basically retraced it but a little bit upwards so it's kind of on here so it looks a lot better then you want to select the inside of it and hit e to extrude inside and you kind of want to size it down a little bit i would recommend going going a little bit more back as you can see, so there's a lot of room for the eye. If you don't want that much or you're not really having an eye, you can put it a little bit forward. It's all up to you. After that is the eye making. Now, there's a lot of ways people make eyes, but this is personally my way. I do make the eyes. Uh, sometimes I do just use that part that I extruded in, make it separate and do that. But I feel like it's a little bit easier to do this. So you want to get the cube, kind of place it where the eye socket is, kind of extrude it uh, y-axis skinnier. So you don't have to worry about it kind of poking out when you're in the game and you have so you want to go on edit mode just trace the eye so for example the people here we're just going to trace it now you only need to do it past the kind of um what's it called the little eye opening part here but i'm actually going to redo it and trace it and then show you guys so here i kind of just made a big circle around the eye people and also for the highlights kind of and then you want to go into this part right here and kind of just select it. You can also stay in that one. That's totally fine. Uh, you want to remove, actually, no, you want to make sure that the material here is, uh, let's, uh, all right, I guess it's removed. No, it's a different color. Hold up. All right. So I made a new material. I want to make sure it's white because that's the background of the eye. Uh, then I think these are going to be kind of not white. They're kind of like this color. So you want to add on to this. So you don't want to make these separate. You just want to add another material which you can use this you want to hit new use nods make sure it's off i do that personally you don't have to though and select the color from the people's little highlights then you'll make sure roughness in that and hit assign when you hit assign it actually assigns the parts that you've selected um to be that color same with this one you got to do the exact same add-on i don't know if this is the same color that i've selected i'm not sure but i'm just gonna do this hit a sign and boom look at that we have the eye you can also go here to kind of see it but it looks absolutely fantastic now it's not mirrored but the good part about this kind of stuff is when you do that then you have the whole eye so you don't have to worry about selecting all the parts to the eye it would just be certain parts you have to select to move the eye now some of you may be like well when we're in roblox we have to have different parts in order to make the eye colors and this don't worry i will show you guys at the end of this kind of episode 
how to do that um, by separating the material parts and not having to worry about all this kind of stuff. It's a really simple way, but I don't show it in this one because we're not ready to show it yet as we're just doing the face. Next, we're going to be doing the ears, which are pretty easy. We have to duplicate this part and you kind of want to trace out the ear. So for example, what I mean by tracing is kind of just making the uh, object that you're duplicating into the same size and using this to kind of uh, shape it to the size. Uh, that's what I mean by tracing, by the way. Um, and basically just do that. It's not that hard to shape them. It's just the inside of the ear that's a tiny bit hard for people who don't are not recognizing, or not recognizing, but are not new. To, uh, I can't even speak. They are not basically good at kind of doing this and they haven't done it a little bit. It can be a little bit difficult. Um, you can apply subdivision. It would make it a lot smoother for the cuts and everything. You definitely want to move a ton of these as there's a hundred right now, which is a, a lot of triangles. We don't need that much. You want to also make sure that if you're not uh, showing this part, for example, you want to uh, dissolve the faces so they're kind of fat, flat, flat, and it also reduces a ton of the triangles. Now look at that. We have 62 from a hundred of them it's pretty nice we can also remove a tiny bit more but i think right now it's pretty fine then you basically just want to trace out this part kind of like the ears i guess i would call it a lobe or something i don't know uh you do not want to mirror this guy i make sure that this is not mirrored because um basically we're gonna have this inside kind of go in for like the i would say the inside part you don't want to select these but you want to select the inside part basically um, you can trace over it. It's, I mean, like trace, but like make lines so it's a little bit cleaner looking, but you can do that. E to extrude in and kind of make it smaller. Now, you don't want to, again, make this separate. You want to um, add in the, I would say this is going to be the darker kind of color here. And then you want to add another one and basically use this color right here, if it would let me select it. And um, now I have it not selected. Okay, there you go. And then you want to hit assign and boom look at that we have the ear not the cleanest ear not the best looking ear but it is pretty good oh that's not supposed to be there so if you have those you could just hit assign for the normal colors i'm gonna go ahead and fix up this ear a tiny bit um and i basically showed you how to make the ear if there's little parts you might need to fix up that is totally okay so i also made it puff out a little bit i accidentally extruded one of these sides that's why it kind of looked a little bit funky Kind of made it a little bit fluffier because I thought it looked better fluffier um, and uh, just made the ear and duplicated it as you can see and that's how the ears are made. Now these look a little tiny bit funky but uh, it's kind of a rushed-ish ear. I'm just showing you guys the basics of how to make an ear because I know some people can struggle but if you do work a little bit and edit it after you did what I did it will look a lot better. So basically we're gonna work on the circles which are a lot easier. Uh, we're gonna take this, duplicate it, put it here um, and you could just keep that. I mean, it's lazy, but I'm doing it. That's how you can do it. You can also add a circle, which has a lot of triangles. So if you don't want to do that, I would suggest not to. It also does fit the kind of um, what would we call the style that we're doing here. So I would probably suggest doing this type of stuff, but you don't have to. It's not like required to do this, but it's something that you can do to save your time and stuff like that. As you can see, boom, we got the circles. Those are pretty easy. Now we're going to move on to the horns and then end the video and do part two kind of working on the body. So you want to start out with the basic shape. It's kind of what matters when making these horns. Oh, that's that's happened. You want to make sure it's probably on three to make sure you got the whole side. And if it's like this, that means you have the whole side. So you don't have to worry. Uh, basically, just make the basic shape. Um, and then after that, you can also refine, edit and everything like that to make the shape a little bit better. Than what it is but right now the basic shapes what's really matters so i'm gonna do that and then bring you guys back so now that we have the basic shape you can also go in first view well it's kind of like the uh, the y view the y-axis view and see if you like the shape of it um other than the side view that you are doing and if you do then you can obviously move on but if you want to you can always just go in hit y and kind of size it, size it down a little bit to make it look a little better right now i think i like the shape except this is a little too puffy so i'm gonna kind of size that down just a tad bit because if not it looks a tiny bit weird um and you can also add in the middle kind of that to make it a little bit uh, smoother as it was kind of sharp there 
So now that we have everything really done for the horns, all we gotta do is the details. Now what I do is I use K, which is the knife, uh, what, what would you call it, knife cut or something like that. Uh, and you just want to kind of shape it out. I know that advanced people probably know that the knife you hit enter to, um, kind of make the pattern. But if you didn't know, you just hit enter after you shape the pattern by just like clicking, uh, left click and, um, just shaping the pattern. So I'll bring you guys back once all the pattern's done and, uh, then show you guys what else to do. So after you make these details, which I had to do a lot because there's a ton of details for some reason, but I did all the details. If you want to um, add the colors right away, you want to select all of them like I did here. I used the, uh, what is this called, face select to select all of them as it's a little bit easier to select details when you have face select on. Uh, you want to go here and make sure to find the right color for it. And for example, this is the lighter color. So if I hit assign, then boom, we have the details onto the horn. It looks absolutely amazing. And don't worry, you will have um, where you can uh, basically select it and like separate it from this once we have the whole model done. I'll show you guys how to do that. But for now, it's going to look like this. It looks absolutely amazing. Now, this is a lot of triangles, as you can see because uh, I forgot to actually disintegrate some of them. So if you, for example, have this much triangles, you can always go to su edge, edge select, I'm pretty sure it's called, dissolve some of the ones that you don't need. So for example, some of these I don't need, I'm gonna just dissolve them. You can, I think, still do them with patterns. So for example, you dissolve it. It might change it a little bit, but that is okay. You can always see that it's actually going down a little bit too with these designs. You can also do it for the designs as well. So say that you're fine with it. If you move any of them, they look weird. You can see that this is one that you don't need. You hit dissolve. It takes down, I think that was two. Yeah, two vertices right there, which is basically the triangles. Um, And you can do it here as well. Just see if like it's not on a line. So like, for instance, these ones, you couldn't remove those or this one, this one, and this one, you couldn't remove them. But if they look like this one, you can hit dissolve and they can do that. But you might wanna not do that for all of them because for example, this one, it would make it look weird. So you wanna leave some of them as they are useful, but ones like this, for example, right here, it's not useful. And you can see there's barely any changes when you do it. It also makes sure that the triangles go down a lot more than it really is. And it just makes it sometimes even the um, designs a lot smoother when you kind of do this stuff for the designs. Like this, for example. That one was totally useless, like it did nothing there. Um, and they can be created by having multiple. Uh, sometimes they just are automatically created when you kind of do the knife cut. And you can easily just remove them like that. It's not that hard to remove these guys. And you'll probably remove a lot of triangles when doing this as well. But yeah, now that we have the triangle count done and we have the whole design done, it kind of looks a little funky on the top, but that is okay. Uh, what you want to do is just like place it. So you can go into top view and hit rotate. I'm pretty sure most of you guys know this. So I'm going to do this and then probably be ending the video. So yes, this is the head we have so far. This is only part one. So I'll be doing the body and legs and everything on other parts. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video though. And I hope this was helpful. It's not as helpful as the other ones as it's more advanced and showing you guys what to do basically and a little bit of tips and everything like that. Uh, so I hope you guys did enjoy it and I'll see you guys in part two. Bye.